Leuven is a hub of innovation. Leuven is educating the change effectors of tomorrow. Leuven is a wonderful place in generating knowledge. Leuven is a pioneer of positive change. Leuven is willing to change things for sustainability. Leuven is beautiful. The city of Leuven realises that we should all change our ways to solve the global issues of climate change. Leuven has embarked on a journey to become a climate neutral city by 2050 and to be an example to the world on how we can approach this substantial global issue in a sustainable, socially just and efficient way. To achieve this, Leuven created a structural platform of co-creation, Leuven 2030, where governments, businesses, knowledge institutions and civil society are all equally represented. Today no one can doubt that tackling climate change is a question of having mankind be there for a longer while on the planet or, or just having a dead planet. So it is absolutely essential that from now on when we take decisions on how to run companies, on how to run a city, that we take sustainability on board. It has to be in there from the start. We've decided to create a new platform, a new governance model, which is called Leuven 2030. Leuven is setting a sustainable example how citizens, companies, authorities can really work together in an environment to change things for the real. Together they define what strategy this community should follow to get to this climate neutral future in a social just way. And we've put everybody around the table to realize that we have a shared problem. It's the story of co-creation which also enables the fact that we will co-create more. It's really horizontal in the sense that uh, everyone included comes at the table in a sense of equality, uh, in a sense of cooperation and co-creation and that where you see uh, that you have in fact a common objective. Aligned on the same climate neutral ambition, each of these actors bring their specific knowledge to the table. Civil society brings ideas and engagement. Knowledge institutions provide innovative research and solutions. Companies bring expertise and entrepreneurship. And a city government adds policies, financial support and investments to the process. A roadmap with concrete challenges and opportunities is now pointing out how to attain climate neutrality in Leuven by 2050. Because of, of the relative small size of a city like Leuven, but with, with, a, with a high innovative power, you really have the agility to implement things faster than a, than a larger city, which have on a city basis quite some impact. It's really important to embed your transition in a scientific way, and that's why we have a roadmap 2030. And it's important that we all scientifically know what steps we should take to make sure that we are heading the right way in the most efficient way and the most sustainable way to that future. And Leuven has a vibe at this moment. It's, it's changing things. It wants to be an example. And when you want to change things, you have to innovate. That's logical, because only by innovation you get change. If you want to address uh, challenges like sustainability, you need data, you need lots of data. And more and more, if you want to really address them and act upon them, you need real-time data. And this starts at education level, this starts at training, this starts at lifelong learning. This is where the mentality and where working together and learning to work together multidisciplinarily, where it needs to start. The major contributions that we can make to sustainability, of course, is to educate our students about sustainability but we also do strongly believe that we cannot be truthful educators if we do not participate in sustainability efforts ourselves that's important for us so sustainability grew from a very narrow looking at things our own individual environment to how can we as a company supply the world out there with sustainable building solutions and services and every part in the chain should be changed somehow 
to make the building that is standing there sustainable as such. By working together, the city of Leuven has already achieved some big sustainability milestones. In the last two years, there has been a 30% increase in cycling in the city centre following the introduction of an ambitious circulation plan. KU Leuven, Europe's most innovative university, has reduced their building CO2 emissions by 38% in 10 years. And as we speak, 22 partners in Leuven are collectively investing a total of over 40 million euros in deep renovations of their buildings. In 2018, Leuven won the European Green Leaf Award for its often citizen-driven sustainability projects and for the governance model of Leuven 2030. The carbon emissions per capita are being reduced year after year. We really think it's important to keep talking about that positive future, about what there is to win if you choose for a climate neutral city. If you want to move people, you need good stories to move the people. And that's why storytelling is so crucial. And that's why in Leuven also we realize that to plug into the hearts of the people, we need good storytelling. And we need to put the storytelling up front because otherwise people won't follow, people won't change. I believe it's very important that you can inspire people uh, to, to go with you along the way towards sustainability in a bigger picture. Uh, because if you walk outside and you say to people, let's fight the carbon emissions, they will not be inspired because that's too abstract. But if you say, look, we have a major problem with transport, we are using far too many fossil fuels, we need to move to electric vehicles, that's a, a message that in the longer run is palatable and understandable and acceptable, I think, for a much wider public. It's not even about the children or the grandchildren, it's really about this generation that will that will live the consequences, um, the negative consequences, if, if we're not acting in a sufficient way. I'm also proud that many people, many inhabitants came to believe in this story uh, because it was a joint effort. It was not something that was uh, pushed down by government. The reason why we are here today is to not only keep this model from ourselves, but take also our responsibility to share that vision and to inspire other cities. Uh, it's really a joint dream, if I may say so, towards the future and it became a larger story than only fighting CO2 emissions. Taking the right measures makes the city more uh, livable and more attractive to many people and so um, I think this is the way forward. <laughs>